Okay, here's a scenario for you. You go traveling, you bring your camera with you, you go to this amazing location, you go to amazing multiple locations, you capture stunning video, stunning photo, you have such a great time, then you fly back home, you take this little thing, this SD card, you put it in your computer, and there's no footage, there's no photos. What do you do? Do you start panicking? No, you do not. That is why I'm gonna be talking about today's sponsor, Disk Drill. It recovers raw photos, videos, and a bunch of other data. So here we have Disk Drill loaded up on my computer. I have my SD card here with a bunch of corruption and a bunch of lost and formatted data. I'm gonna insert that into my SD card reader and we're gonna have a look at what's going on. So as you can see here, Disk Drill is fully loaded up. It looks very similar to that of the Mac OS Finder. Everything is labeled very clearly. On the left, we have the navigation bar. In the middle, we have our different storage devices. And as you can see, you can go through the different types of different RAIDs and other types of storages, but today we're gonna to be mainly focusing on SD cards because that's what we content creators mainly rely on. So I'm just gonna to go to the top here and click on storage devices. Here I have my SSDs, the built-in SSD on my computer, and the formatted card. As you can see here, it's labeled as H6. I actually formatted this card to work with my H6 Zoom audio recorder. So all of the data has been wiped from that card in order to work with that recorder. I'm gonna click on that SD card, and we're gonna to go to search for lost data on the right here. It's gonna take a few minutes, can take even an hour depending on how large the SD card is, but it actually rather scans all of the data quickly. Once it's done searching, you'll see a completed message right here at the bottom. You can X out of that. Now let's browse through and see what this software found. As you can see, all the raw files have been found on this corrupted SD card. This is actually what was deleted or lost. Let's see what it did when it reconstructed some of the files. We got some video, we got some pictures. Let's see the pictures here in raw format. Yeah, it looks like it recovered everything back to its original file size. I can see that right here at 68.1 megabytes. That looks like a raw file size. And actually this is coming from the A7S Mark III. Look at that. Yeah, it recovered everything at full size. So I'm gonna go ahead and check mark a few of these files and I am going to restore them or recover them just by going to the bottom right hand corner here, clicking on this blue recover button and then I'm gonna recover it to my Macintosh HD built-in SSD. And click on next. Here's some of the recovered files. I have my client Mike O'Hearn here with Joseph Banya, we did a workout video. So these photos are successfully recovered. It looks like I just pulled it directly from the camera, so I'm really happy with the results. Now let's go over some of the other tools that come in with Distril. So on the main screen of Distril, we covered how to recover SD card files. But there are other options, such as making backups of, let's say, your iPhone, iPad, or other mobile devices. You can easily do that when plugging in your device. And below that, we have the Recent Sessions tab. This is really important, just in case your scan gets canceled of a SD card or SSD, you can always continue the scan after that cancellation or if it's been interrupted in any way. So I love the fact that we can recover or continue recent sessions. On the bottom, we have options that monitor your SSD health. This is a really good feature and it just keeps tabs on all of your connected devices to make sure they're running at optimal performance. Under that is data protection and probably the most important feature of Disk Drill because it guarantees recovery for that specific SSD. And under that we have a macOS installer helper, we have backup options, and we have data shredder which is another useful tool. At times I have a hard time deleting or erasing data permanently from my computer and it's as easy as just dragging and dropping the files to this data shredder and it will just be erased from existence. It's that easy. Now don't forget, you can actually view these restored files before actually recovering them. 
So if you're not sure if this drill is going to actually work for you, you can always test it out to make sure that it works. So if you're interested in this drill, check out the link down below. Let me know what you think about it and I'll see you in another video. Peace.